Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran, and you know we are all about healthy aging and healthy eating, something we really are good at. Today we're going to show you many specific packaged food products. We sort of emptied out the <laughs> Everything's the right here in front of us. Part of our pantry just to show you what uh, food we have in the house that we enjoy beyond uh, just the fresh veggies and fruits we eat in our whole food plant-based diet. And believe me, we never go hungry and you won't either. So be sure to watch to the end for Fran's secret to tasty, high flavored foods. And uh, let's get started right now. There seems to be a misconception that packaged food should be avoided. It is true that a great deal of packaged foods are highly processed, full of chemicals, very salty or sugary, and not healthy at all. But there are quite a few packaged foods that are healthy, nutritious, filling, and convenient. So let's start with some frozen fruits and vegetables. Well, I see a couple that we have in our yeah. our freezer now. Yeah. Now we They're, always would choose fresh whenever possible. Yeah. But just in case is a time when you run out of something, we like to keep some in the freezer. So the first one that I noticed in the freezer today are blueberries. We always have to have blueberries. Blueberries are like my 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 daily pill Absolutely. or something. Yeah. We love them. They're delicious yeah. frozen. And I always keep a package of organic mixed vegetables, just in case I want to make something and I'm short on vegetables. Now, we would suggest that you buy organic whenever possible, just to reduce your exposure to chemicals. And the good thing about frozen fruits and veggies is that they're flash frozen right yeah. after they're picked, which helps them retain their nutrients. Yeah. The next category is canned beans. We eat a lot of beans, they're healthy for you, and we enjoy beans. Now, it is cheaper, we know, to buy dry beans and prepare them, but it's so convenient to have several cans of your favorite beans in the pantry. What do you have there? Okay, right now we have garbanzo beans, also Always known as chickpeas. Black, uh, red, I'm sorry, this is red kidney beans, and my favorite, black beans. Yeah. All organic, very inexpensive. All we do is drain them and rinse them and they're ready to go. Now the next group of foods is not only delicious but very filling. And we're talking about grains. We personally eat a lot of brown rice and oats as well as some others like buckwheat, farro, and quinoa. Let me show you a few. This is bulgar wheat. Mm. I like this too. This is actually not a, a grain, but a seed, but it kind of serves as a grain. It's called quinoa. Delicious. I've got pearled barley, which oh. is great in soups. Yeah. So Fran makes soups a lot. Always good to have a soup in the freezer, yeah, part of a soup in the freezer. Pearl just, barley is yeah. a real pearl, a real gem. <laughs> now, I don't know if you're familiar with this one, but it's really delicious. Farro. Oh. Try it. It's really good. So farro has a real nice chewy texture, and Fran uh, makes it with uh, some uh, onions, onions and, and, and mushrooms. mushrooms. It yeah. is really good. Now, this is Israeli couscous. It's whole wheat Israeli couscous, and uh, it's also really healthy. The one thing I want to tell you about all these products that we're showing you, they basically only contain one ingredient in each. You don't get um, these chemicals that you see in so many processed foods. When you can't pronounce them, your body does not recognize them. Another food that we always have on hand are lentils, red lentils and green lentils, both organic and uh, really good for making stews or uh, curries or soup. Yeah. Really healthy. Tomatoes should be next, yes, I think. Yes, yes. Now, tomatoes, um, we always have in our pantry in either cans or boxes. Mm -hmm. If they are canned, we make sure the can is BPA-free, and it says it right here on the can. 
BPA is an industrial chemical that can have ill effects on your brain and cause other health issues. And the acid in the tomatoes can cause the BPA to leach into our food. That's why it's important to get BPA-free cans if you buy canned tomatoes. So, one of my personal favorites is anything Italian. Right. So, pastas are like uh, very much yeah. a mainstay in our in our home. Right. And uh, we love Italian food, and we eat pasta at least once a week. And we buy only whole wheat pasta. And organic, whenever possible. So what, is, what do we have in the have. house? Oh, we can have this tonight. Yeah, here is, <laughs> here is a penna, whole wheat penna. This one you may not have tried. This is whole wheat orzo, which is great in just, soups. Just delicious. Whole wheat organic spaghetti. And... Whole grain, non-GMO uh, lasagna noodles. So Fran makes a regular lasagna. But she also makes uh, something she calls the lasagna roll-ups. Roll those oh, are really those good. Those are really excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Love them. Well, let's talk about tofu. We okay. eat some tofu. Okay. Um, many of you don't realize that there are different kinds of tofu to be used for different recipes. So I want to share a few with you today. This one is shelf-stable tofu. That means that it's not in the refrigerator section of your store. It's on the shelf in many Asian uh, sections of supermarkets. And um, we buy the soft tofu in the shelf-stable because I use this to make um, low-fat mayonnaise, or chocolate pudding. Now, the kind of tofu that we use most often is extra firm tofu packed in water in the refrigerator section. This is great, for example, for a tofu scramble or eggless egg salad. Mm. But now there's another kind of tofu that I really like. This is super firm tofu that's not packed in water. And so it's perfect for using in your air fryer or you could use it in the oven to bake tofu chunks to add to a recipe. So we have three different kinds of tofu for different purposes. What about the soy curls? Is my oh, good? that's like... Have you heard of this one? This is my chicken, my fat right. chicken. <laughs> I, I almost forget that this is tofu because it's dried, uh, it's dehydrated soy. And it comes in a bag and uh, you just use a little, you put it into some uh, water to rehydrate it and it can be chicken in your chicken soup. You can make it uh, chicken fajitas. Stir some, fries. Oh, and the parts at the bottom that are kind of broken are great for barbecued beef. Yeah. Barbecued okay. fake <laughs> right, beef. Right. Let's talk a little bit about um, raw nuts and seeds. I know that we always have them in the house, yeah. and uh, they're, they're good in small quantities. Right. Now, if you have a heart issue, we would recommend that you avoid nuts and seeds. But if you uh, don't have a health issue, then feel free to use, well, at least we use raw nuts and seeds in um, baking and salads and cereal. And going along with that is... A very important addition to our diet is flaxseed meal. Uh, flaxseed meal is, um, you, you can buy it in seeds and grind it yourself, but this is so much easier and I just keep it in the refrigerator or freezer once it's open so it doesn't go rancid. Flaxseed meal supplies us with our omega-3 fatty acids which are a very important part of our diet. So we have it, I know, in our cereal area. Yeah, I put a, I put a tablespoon in our cereal each morning and, that, and that's sufficient to supply our omega-3s. What about nutritional yeast or nooch as you all call it? <laughs> if you haven't heard or tried nutritional yeast, I highly recommend it. Not only is it cheesy tasting, but it's really good for you. And uh, you can sprinkle it on air pop popcorn. You can make a 
a cheese sauce with it. It really does taste like cheese, but it's just uh, nutritional yeast. It's good for you. And it isn't, it, uh, you. isn't it full of uh, vitamin B12? Right. Yeah. Which you normally can't get from a plant-based diet. Yeah. So that's a good way yeah. to get some vitamin B12. Tasty way. Yeah. yeah. Let's, okay. We, let's talk about dried fruits. Okay. Uh, I know you like your dates. I love medjool dates. I'm not that big on those <laughs> no, dates, not. but I like golden raisins yeah. and other dried fruits. Right. And I think uh, uh, while we don't uh, eat overdo the dried foods, it's always good. Prunes, dried apricots, figs, right. all those foods seem to be very healthy. Yeah, good for snacking, and, healthy. Uh, they come in packages, but yeah. pretty darn good. Yeah. Now, the last category that Bob was teasing you about before is spices. Lots of spices. I use them in just about everything, and they can make a huge difference in your cooking. Just I like, and I think I'm speaking for Fran yeah. as well, high-flavored foods. So uh, I know a lot of vegan recipes look and taste kind of bland. Yeah. Not our food. No. So. Uh, I use, just to give you an example, I use garlic powder, mm -hmm. onion powder, cumin, garam masala, curry powder, oregano. Hold it. Slow down. I'm writing notes here. <laughs> Chili powder, oregano, dill weed, paprika, smoked paprika, celery seed, and coriander, just to name a few. Sure. And you may remember from a previous video that I said that I arrange my spices alphabetically <laughs> to make them easier to find. Well, I, <laughs> I can't find them, but... You don't have to. No, I'm doing the cooking. I know. That's good. So we hope that you found this information helpful and filling. <laughs> you will never go hungry. And uh, we don't want you to go hungry. And we want you to eat well. And in case you are wondering, we're not paid to feature any of the brands that we have shown you today. Although, hmm, that would be that nice. Would be nice. <laughs> we try our best to produce videos that have good content. We're not always smooth and silky and sharp like some of the other videos, but uh, we, we think we deliver important things that will help you age well and enjoy longevity so I, we, what, one more thing before sure. we go in case you're wondering what it says below the, the camera on our shirts it says plants make the best plants are the best medicine they sure are hey we look forward to seeing you again very soon so bye for now bye, -bye.